you want some milk? Okay. Okay. That was a really good sleep. Very sleepy. Very sleepy. We've got lots of bunnies in here. Big bunny. Big bunny. Uh. You want to take mommy's bed? Come on then. Well done. Do you want to sleep in bag off? Stay on. Okay, got to do a funny walk then. Oh, we're doing that very well. Oh, say hello, baby. Well, how are you doing today? Say, we'll see you soon. Somebody has pinched my tripod. Have you got my tripod? Yeah. Tripod. Tripod? Open it. You want me to open it? Open it, please. Okay, go. Oh! <laughs> there we go. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel and to another video. We are just having a chilled morning this morning i've got my cup of tea i'm currently 18 weeks pregnant today so i thought i'd just do a little vlog like a day in the life it's half term this week so i'm off all week off from work which is amazing it's literally the perks of working in in schools and in like childcare is that you have all the holidays off we've all been suffering well me and novely have been suffering a little bit with a cold but we've been fine we've been getting on with a lot of stuff been getting things done Novely is now sleeping in her big girl bed aren't you you've got a new bed a bed yeah what else is in your new bedroom what's on the wall clouds clouds because we've done like a scalloped edge on the like painted scallop edge on the wall she calls them clouds which is really really cute and i'm so shocked at how well she has been sleeping in her new bed she hasn't got tried to get out once she slept the whole night through Dad, toast. you'd like some toast okay yes please would you like butter or peanut butter toast, toast with butter toast. okay mommy do it in a minute yeah but she's been amazing i will be having a video come to my channel about like transforming from a baby room to toddler room and her bed transition and what we've done to hopefully make it go as smoothly as possible but that video won't be up for a little while because the room's not completely finished because we're waiting to put something on the wall which can't be put on yet basically so you'll see and understand that in the video but you'll probably get a sneak peek of her bedroom in this video um because this will be going live quicker but yeah i just thought today i'd do a vlog of like a home vlog pregnant toddler mum what we get up to we've got a really really chill day today and um, we've got our tesco shop arriving this morning i always have a delivery because i cannot face going into the shop so that's happening this morning and then we've got i've got my hoop and cough vaccine this afternoon so nobody will come with me for that okay. but i've got lots of jobs i need to do here um we've got to paint granddad a card because it's his birthday tomorrow We've got lots of house tidying to do because we've been decorating all over the thank bank you, holiday thank you dad Sorry? Thank We've been decorating. Thank you. Yeah, your bedroom, didn't we? <coughs> We've got fences to paint. I don't know if I'll get around to doing that today. Um, I also need to wash my hair, which is a task in itself. So yeah, just thought I'd bring you with me. We've got a chilled one, not up to much. A few little jobs to get done. It will also kind of update you on her routine. Now she is 22 months yeah 22 months she'll be two in august which is crazy so she's definitely um her routine has changed slightly um since the last time i updated you all but first things first i'm gonna drink my cup of tea i'm gonna make madam some toast here you are baby it's your toast is that yummy toast 
You happy? Normally I do put some fruit on there, but we've completely run out because we're waiting for our shopping, aren't we? Mummy. Yeah, we're waiting for the Tesco man. Yeah, they'll bring us some more raspberries. Raspberries. Yeah. A strawberry. And strawberries? Yeah, maybe. Nice. Bread. Bread, yeah. Uh-huh. Well done. Mmm, delicious toast with butter. I love that she's at this age now where she can just tell me what she wants, so she just requests a toast. And that's what she's having. Zipper. <laughs> yeah, zippers are under there, look. Oh, there they are. Mm -mm. Cover them up. Zipper's gone. <gasps> there it is. And you've got your tractor. Yeah, you love your tractor, don't you? You go to sleep with that every night. Have one. Another one. Have Enjoy. One. I had some breakfast, um, done the hoovering, just sorted out and tidied up the house a little bit. Nobody's happy playing. She did watch a little bit of TV. She sometimes watches some TV in the mornings, um, but she's now just happily playing with her. I think she's playing with her diggers. <gasps> you got your diggers? Wow. And she's wearing her welly boots because She's obsessed with wellies, but I'm now going to attempt a workout. <laughs> it's only like a really low impact one. It's just a pregnancy, like second trimester one. I will link it below the, the workout that I'm going to do. And I'm literally just going to do it in my pajamas because I can't bother to get changed. It's quite sort of low impact. So there's no like jumping or anything. So hopefully I'll be fine just to do it in my pajamas. Um, and then I will do that before I then hop in the shower and have a shower and hair wash. Just trying to move my body a little bit more. Um, but I keep waking up with these, like, I'm suffering really badly with headaches in this pregnancy. I, I did in my first, but this one, I just it feels like it's worse and it's more frequent. Um, so I've woken up again with a headache and I'm, this is a bit gross, but I've had a bit of a bloody nose as well, which sometimes happens when I'm like headachey. So hopefully a bit of movement and exercise will help. No, I can't really be bothered. I don't really want to do it, but I know it will make me feel better and it'll be good for me and baby. So that's what I'm going to do now. What's the time? It's quarter to nine. My Tesco shop's coming between 10 and 11. So I need to quickly do my workout and have a shower and hair wash before the Tesco comes. Out is done. I'm now going to have a shower. And what we normally do is you sit on this little chair, don't you? That's it. You on there? Good girl. And so she sits here whilst I have my shower and you watch them. What do you watch on mummy's phone? Tractor. Tractor. Maddie Cuddles. In Maddie Puddles, don't they? And this just means it just keeps her entertained for like 10 minutes. I'm now gonna, mummy's now going to do it, okay? Just keeps you entertained for 10 minutes whilst I have a shower. Yeah? Practice. Yeah. Go, you wet your toothbrush. Some toothpaste. Toothpaste. And now you can scrub, scrub, scrub. Can you see yourself? Wow, got to brush them forwards and backwards. Good girl. Well done getting the back. Playing in your new bedroom. Are you doing the tractor's makeup? Wow, it looks beautiful. Are you going to put some perfume on? Perfume. Oh, lovely. Does it smell good? <laughs> You're putting perfume on the tractor. Good girl. Absolutely living nice. in leggings. Six. 
but I thought I'd just do a little bump update for 18 weeks. Bye. These leggings are quite tight though they're sort of quite compressive so i feel like it's like holding the bump in i don't know how long i'll last in them because i hate anything really tight and like restricting on the bump especially because i bloat quite a lot but we'll see how we get on this is what i just live in leggings comfort and i'm now gonna go and get a little misdressed what t-shirt would you like yellow flowers or rainbow butterfly this one yeah this one Red. Yeah. Red. It's not red. What colour is it? Yellow. Yeah. Tractor. Tractor book. Yellow. Yellow. <laughs> That's it. Mummy just doing her makeup. Grasp this opportunity to chuck some makeup on. We're just waiting for the Tesco shop to come. I'm trying to find a card to make for my dad for his birthday tomorrow. I like to do like homemade cards when I can if I have time from Novely, but I'm lacking inspiration. You've got a giraffe? Giraffe. Hello, giraffe. Bouncing giraffe. Bouncing giraffe. Eating. Eating? Is it hungry? Hungry. Oh, yummy. We'll make Grandad a card. What should we put on Grandad's card? Birthday. Birthday, yeah. It's going to be his birthday. I need to search Pinterest for some inspiration. I'm not very good at thinking of the ideas myself, so Pinterest is definitely needed. Yummy. Lucky giraffe. Oh, the giraffe is asleep. Night, night, giraffe. Wake up, giraffe. Wake up, giraffe. We've decided what we're going to put on Grandad's birthday card. A fish? fish Should we make him a fish? You want to see the fish again? It was just on my phone. Yeah, we're going to make him a fish card. But she normally goes down for her nap about 11, half 11, and it's now oh, half no. 10. So I'm hoping that... Black. I'm not sure I'm going to have time Black. to do the painting before her nap, to be honest. And then I've got... Because I've then got to head out to the doctors. Yay! I need to check. I don't know if my appointment's at 3 or 3.30. So I'm not sure... I normally give her a snack, then she'll go down for her nap, she'll have a couple of hours, and then I give her lunch once she's woken up, when she's a bit more hungry. She's more likely to eat if she's actually hungry. Oh, you're giving the giraffe a kiss. But hopefully we'll still have time between that and nipping out to the doctor's fingers. All the shopping has arrived. Now the fun task of putting it away. I also had to put a jumper on. It's nearly June and it is freezing i also try a meal plan as much as possible so i'm not wasting food um, and i only plan for five meals a week because one night a week we either have a takeaway or a freezer tea and then another night of the week we end up either around tom's parents or my parents so it's very rare that we eat at home seven times a week or we'll be like going out to friends for barbecues and things like that so i only ever plan five meals i craving this pregnancy probably the one craving that i've had has been like strawberry milkshakes or like sweet things so like these donuts but not chocolate i want like a helicopter where did you hear it i got myself some strawberry nesquik but tom then was very upset that we didn't have any chocolate so i had to get him some chocolate nesquik are you eating your yogurts is it yummy oh, shopping's all put away which is good. I'm going to wait and do the card when she wakes up because it's now 11 o'clock. So I don't think we're going to have time to do that before she needs to go down. Because I don't want to rush her with it either because I'm going to quickly make the card and then she just does that free flow. I'm not going to say the word because... Slow down, darling. <laughs> You're a messy pup. With meals this week, we're going to have chicken katsu curry, sausage and mash with Mommy. gravy and vegetables Mommy. risotto rice and pork steak spag bowl classic and i've got some garlic bread i'm also going to do some nando's chicken so i've got some seasoning for the chicken and then i've got some puri salt for some chips i've got corn on the cob i've also got some wraps as well if we want to put it in a wrap a lot of those meals she won't eat so some of them she will or some of them i'll adapt slightly i think 
with them being slightly later tonight. So sometimes it just doesn't work that she eats the same things as us and she is quite a picky eater, as I said earlier. So I do really struggle to get certain things into her. But I'm just riding the wave and I'm hoping that it's just something that she's, just a phase she's going through basically. Really good with fruit and vegetables. But it's meat that she, I really struggle to get protein into her. So if anybody has any tips of how to get protein into toddlers, then please let me know. She's started to eat eggs now, um, but only scrambled eggs. A massive eater in general, like even stuff she likes, she won't eat loads of it. She's quite petite and just not like the biggest eater. But that's literally your only, like the only tough part about her is her eating. Like with everything else, she's really really like chilled yes. out and amazing and just yeah couldn't ask for anything more to be honest so just the eating thing i'm just kind of she's not going to live on your and pasta forever is she so i just want to make sure that she's getting enough of everything she needs to grow but that's my worry at the hello, moment mom. hello mommy how are you doing today i'm good thank you how are you are you okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cheers. It's time for a nap. A bath. <laughs> a bath. I love I you. Know. You had your milk earlier, cheeky. <laughs> Ugh, I honestly just talked all of that up. <laughs> She's normally amazing at going down for her nap and she never normally gets upset and she's normally like ready for it but she was a little bit upset this time. I think she's just still fighting that cold um, and I must have just talked it up. I've got an absolutely splitting headache now um, so I think my patience is running a little bit thin as well which I feel really guilty about but I've just got a, this pounding headache but she has now settled. So hopefully she'll fall asleep. She's been really good and not been getting out of the bed because she can obviously get in and out of it, but she's just stayed there and she's now put her duvet up and got her bunny. So fingers crossed she'll go to sleep. I've just sat, I'm just gonna sit down. I don't do this very often, but because I'm feeling so rubbish, I think I just need to chill out for a minute and maybe even have a little nap if I can, just to try and shift this, this headache. But I've got myself one of the donuts. So I'm starving. Hopefully a bit of sugar will help as well. And I've got myself a tea, a cup of tea. But I've got a decaf one this time. I had a, a normal one this morning, but I like to drink a couple of cups of tea in the day, so and coffee. So I try and have decaf where I can, but I need the caffeine in the mornings. I'm just gonna chill out, watch some Netflix for a little while, maybe try and have a little sleep myself, and then depending on what time I've got, I'll see if I can get some jobs done. But I'm not gonna force myself, I'm just gonna try and let things go. And I have achieved quite a lot this morning, so that's good. She's been sleeping for a couple of hours now. I managed to have a little nap as well, and I've just had some lunch. But I'm now going to wake her up. I don't like her sleeping for much longer than two hours, and we've obviously got to head out in just over an hour's time. So I need to wake her up to make sure she can have some lunch before we head out. I hate waking her up, though, because I feel so guilty, but... If she has too much daytime sleep, she won't sleep at night, so I'm now going to wake her up. It's normally pretty easy. And then um, I'll get her some lunch. Good morning. Hello. Hi, Telly. Hello. No, are you okay? There's a squirrel. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Evet. Good girl. Teddy. Teddy bear. What noise does a bear make? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about the wolf? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <coughs> it's Luna the wolf. I turned it on. Mummy, do it. You're helping mummy make the eggs. Big mix. Yummy. Thank you, mummy. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. Just 
right. She hasn't eaten much at all, but we're now having some fruit salad. We've made it to the doctor's, haven't we? So we're gonna pop in there now. I really need to pop to B&M as well after this, so I'm gonna see how I'm feeling. I have still got this headache, but it's like, it comes in waves and it's just all of a sudden it's pounding and then it will ease off a bit. So I'm hoping it'll be all right so we can pop to B&M because I've got a return to make. Mummy's going to the doctor's. Is Nofali coming too? Yeah, should we go in? Mummy's the tail. Where's the giraffe's tail? Hey, is it? There it is. The tail. Mmm. Uh-oh, he's stuck at the top. Help! How's he going to get down? Stop. Yay, he did it. My goodness, that was literally the biggest fat ever. So my appointment was at three. I didn't go in until 20 to four. <clears throat> I was literally there for five minutes. <clears throat> but she then says to me, oh, have you got your midwife notes? And I'm like, oh, no. I thought about it when I turned up to the car park. I thought, I haven't got my midwife notes. I should have bought them. But obviously didn't have time to go home, but I would have had time if I'd have known I was going to be sitting there for 40 minutes. She did do the injection. She did do the, the vaccine. No. We're going to go to the shops quickly. No. no. Yeah, she did do it. But um, I've got to go back. She said this afternoon, but I haven't got time to go back this afternoon. So I'm going to have to go back on Thursday for her to sign it. So I've had to cut the like vial thing because it has the number on it and then she needs to sign it. So, ah, oh, such a faff. And I still haven't had time to go. I need to go to B&M because I need to do that return. It's not time for milk. You are amazing though, weren't you? You were such a good girl. Mommy! You are playing with your giraffe and your tractor. Oh, and my head is pounding again now, but I need Mommy. to do this. So I'm going to go to B&M. Mommy. And then Mommy. head home. Mummy's car. Right, should we go? Yeah. Let's do it. Just popped her in the push chair because you're having a snack, aren't you? And I want to be quick. It's starting to rain. I want to be in and out of these shops quickly. So push chair is the quickest option, I think. So annoying. They never have any of these elf stock in ever. So annoying. Got two lip liners though. What else do we need? Some moisturizer. And then I've been using a lot of this brand in pregnancy because I know it's safe. This is one that I've run out of and it's on offer, so that's good. I love this, it's really, really good. We are done. I'm pretty sure that was record timing. I did pick myself up a Costa, a salted caramel frappe, because I had a free drinks thing so i got that for free needed to pick me up it has got coffee in it so i'm now gonna head home we need to do our painting have some tea and then it'll be bedtime you okay she's been such a good girl now home we're home aren't we and it's been raining and i had washing out so i've now got to just hang that up in here to dry it's time. It's 20 past five, so oh, I just don't even know where the day's gone. It's one of those, it's just one of those feelings that I get where it's just not enough time in the day to get everything done and achieve. Oh. And because with a little one, you're on such a time schedule to. She normally has her tea at five. Hopefully she's eating by like six, that should be fine because she doesn't need a B-A-T-H tonight. I'm not gonna say the word because she's obsessed with them, but she doesn't have them every night. So um, at least tonight I haven't got to rush as much because when you have to fit that in as well, she needs to get in that by like six, 10 past six because she likes to spend time in there and it then drags out, drags it out. And I like her in bed by about seven. I'm gonna get this painting stuff out now. It's gonna probably cause more hassle than it's worth because I've then got to tidy it all up, but it'll keep her entertained whilst I cook some tea. But exciting stuff. I picked up this from b &M. I know it's not nothing much. It was only a fiver. This is the first thing I've bought for the nursery. I'm not 100% sure the theme of what I'm doing yet. I can't decide between like a woodland theme or like an animal, like jungle, safari kind of theme. 
Um, I think it might depend on gender as well, what colours I'm going to go for. I'm quite liking like a sage green is what I've got in my head. That or like a beige colour, but I thought this would go with any of that. And I just thought it was really cute and I thought it just looked really nice on a shelf. So yeah, first thing that I've got for the baby, which is crazy. Um, and that's what I've got. Um, but yeah, I, I am starting to feel a little bit overwhelmed because we haven't really got or done anything. I was a lot more prepared first time around, but at least Novalee's room's done now so we can start um, doing work on the nursery and I've just got to rejig a lot of, of upstairs because that room was my room with my dressing table and all my makeup and hair and tan, like drawers, and I don't know where I'm going to put that. So I'm, I'm really needing to like declutter and sort out all the stuff in there. I ha we have been working on it because I had a huge chest of drawers in there which had lots of clothes in and that's all now gone. Um, so I am minimising all the stuff in there, but it's just, it's such a task. I think it's just kind of a mixture of emotions. Just, I can't believe I'm at 18 weeks already because it just feels like it's going so, so fast. And I feel so underprepared, but I am prepared because I've pretty much got everything I need from first time around. It will just be a few odd bits. And hopefully in a couple of weeks time, we will find out the gender too. So that'd be exciting. Right, must get on and do this painting and get some tea sorted. Right, so are we gonna make Gran's birthday card? What are we going to make him? Birthday. Birthday card. What are we going to make him on the birthday card? A fish. A fish? <laughs> yeah. Right, let's put this like this then. So we're going to try and do a handprint fish. That's the plan, isn't it? And then after that, you can do your own painting. Okay. So we'll do an orange fish. Okay. And then we can do some more afterwards this one so you can go swimming like that that looks good i think so Six. so mummy's gonna paint your hand orange okay and then you can have a turn okay that's it ready go paint your hand what color is it orange. good girl we'll do an orange fishy and then hopefully this will be dry by the morning so we can give it to Grand. Grandpa. She always calls my, her grandparents or granddad's grand, don't you? So they're now just known as Grand. But they quite like that. They quite like being called Grand. Wow. Whoa. Ready? We put it down. That's amazing! I love it! No more. Yeah, so that's what we've got. I should have done it further across actually because I wanted to do bubbles coming out of its mouth, but never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Here you go, here's your paintbrush. Paintbrush. You want the paint there? Wow! Yes. That was so beautiful. Gran's gonna love it. Do that with your hand, you'll get a handprint. Put your hand on there. Yay! Nobody's hand! Oh gosh, I really hope you don't get this everywhere. Painting is all done and tidy. I've had to just put my hair out because I'm getting really hot in the kitchen cooking. Clee is on. I'm now going to do her some cheesy pasta. My arm is actually a little bit sore. When she did it, it hurt a bit. But I was trying to be like really brave because I'm normally fine with stuff like that. It doesn't normally bother me. But um, I did sting a little bit. And she said, did I have any side effects from it last time? And I said, I don't think so. What is it? Mummy's cut. Cut plaster. Yes. When I went to see the doctor. She's the doctor. And I got a plaster, didn't I? On my arm. Do you want to kiss it better for mummy? Can you kiss it better? Oh, thank you. All better. Thank you, darling. I was trying to be really brave, but it did scratch a little bit. But I can't remember having any side effects no, last time. I was smiling the entire time just to show her that there's nothing no, to be scared of. Are you going to have some cheesy pasta for tea? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and some broccoli? Yes, 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 yes. Good girl, clean your face. Delicious. 
Good, good. Mummy's tea. What did what are you eating? Um, chocolate. Oh, lovely. You ate quite a lot of your t dinner, didn't you? You ate it all up, pretty much. So you're now having some chocolate. Daddy's stuck in traffic, so I'm going to eat my tea because it's already 25 to 7. So once I've eaten that, we'll get ready for bed, I think. Bye bye. Yeah? I love you. Mm -hmm. Yummy milk. Quick cuddle before bedtime with Daddy. Mm. Say no night to Lily. Uh, uh, night night, Lily. No. Let's go find your new bed. New bed. Good girl, give him a scrub. You've got to go up and down, round and round. The maid. Mermaid. Can you remember her name? Name. F. Ariel. Well done. This. Oh, lovely. Nice bed. This trailer is too rough. What's in there? Sheep. Yeah, what noise do they make? <coughs> Loud sheep. Thank you very much. Have the best sleep, and I'll see you in the morning. Just put her down. Hopefully, she won't take long to go to sleep. Put the giraffe and the tractor in there. <laughs> But yeah, fingers crossed she'll go. Oh, I'm so tired and I've got such a headache now. But we've got all of this kitchen to clean up. So, better get started on that. And then it'll be time for skincare and pyjamas and chilling out. It's now five past eight. I'm pretty sure she's asleep by about 20 to eight. A little bit later than usual but um everything was just a little push a little bit later back a little bit later because obviously we ran late at the doctors and that made us later at the shops and all that and we had to fit the card in but she went to sleep fine i normally aim to put her down between 7 and 7 30 so like she, hopefully she's asleep by half seven is the aim for every night but obviously it's only 10 minutes different today so i'm now going to go and do my skincare which I'll probably show you because a few of the products have changed since becoming pregnant. You have to be a little bit careful of what you're using. My skin hasn't been too bad. It has been breaking out a little, little bit, but nothing crazy. I'm just going to be talking a little bit quietly because obviously nobody's asleep upstairs. But just put my pyjamas on. I absolutely love these pyjamas. You can't really see them. I'll show them in the main mirror in a little while, but they're from Matalan. And they're so soft and comfy. If you're pregnant or postpartum, or you just love being comfy, then I definitely recommend these pyjamas. Just put some bio oil on. Um, I use this all over my bump, my boobs, my hips, my thighs to try and prevent stretch marks. So I either use this or I think it's the Baby Mama body butter or something. I will, again, I'll link it below. If I want something less oily, I'll use that. So to start with, what I'm going to be using to remove my makeup is this Sukin. Um, apparently, when I did some research, all of the Sukin products are supposed to be good for pregnancy and breastfeeding, they're safe in both. So that's why I've got a few products from this brand because I just know it's safe. So this is the Nourishing Cream Cleanser. This is the Rosehip one. I have dry, sensitive skin normally. I'm just gonna this in my face. So I always use like a cream cleanser or an oil cleanser or like a balmed oil cleanser something like that um that's what i will always always use just because that's what i find works with my skin this one is a bit more look at, look at that it just lifts it off so well and then i just get a flannel this flannel is so dirty i promise i've only used it once <laughs> from yesterday and then i just rinse it off with one of these micro like one of these face cloths I will literally only use these twice and then I'll put them in the wash. But they get stained as well, especially like why make it white? This is just really, really nice, really gentle. It doesn't leave my skin feeling tight or dry. And I just really like the brand. It's really like natural, it's got no harsh chemicals. And I did and have used this brand before and after pregnancy as well. I always, always, always 
double cleanse. <laughs> the next thing I do is tone. Normally I use like a toner that has like glyconic acid in it, but obviously can't use that pregnant. So I just use this simple one, kind to skin. Once I've run out of this, I might get the Sukin one. It's just when I did the order, they didn't have any in stock. So, and this simple one, I can just get on my Tesco shop. So that's why I tend to go for this one. That's why I tend to go for this one so I can get it easily and it's like three pounds or something like that. Then I go in with eye cream. This is just the Boots Collagen Youth Activating Eye Serum. I hope this is okay. I haven't actually done research into this, whether this is okay and what ingredients it has. I don't think it has anything in it that you can't have in pregnancy, but if you know, then let me know. Going with an oil, I love like the feel of an oil. I like my skin feeling really moisturized because it's dry. I love that feeling of like oily skin, oily glass skin. So this is the same product that I picked up in Boots earlier. It's the Rose Hip Oil. And I just use a couple of drops of that. It doesn't smell the best, I'm not gonna lie, but it's not horrendous. And you can see it creates like that real like sheen, which is what I love. So I go in with this again, it's the rose hip version and it is for the night cream. It's for dry and distressed skin types. It also said on the description that it helps with aging, which is obviously something that I am now contending with considering I'm over, how old am I? over 25 and 26 now aren't I, I think oh, so bad when you forget how old you are and it's really thick and moisturizing and I just rub the rest into my hands that's that and I will leave it there if I feel like it which I might do tonight but I just do it slightly later on is I then spray myself with some fake tan which I always use this St. Moritz this is fine again tan's fine to use in pregnancy um, and I'll just spray that all over my face, but I just give my skin like the time for this to sink in first in my skin. I'm gonna just leave these spots because hopefully they will clear themselves up. And I'll just put a little bit of lip balm on. In the mornings, I don't really cleanse, I just wash my face with water. Then I will go in again with the same toner, the same oil, and then I've been using this Sukin illuminating moisturizer it is really nice it smells really nice and it's good for illuminating another one that i really like which i'm running low on is the waleda skin food this is all natural and stuff as well but this is a lot lot thicker and i sometimes struggle to blend this in it's not like a creamy thick it's like a sticky thick so it can be hard to actually blend it out so um I sometimes use this on top of the other stuff as well and then in the mornings I will use an SPF. I think you have to use like a mineral one or like a pregnancy safe SPF. This is the SPF I've been using, Avini, Avini, Aven, I don't know, SPF 50. I'm not 100% sure if this is mineral or not but when I was doing some research on what I could and couldn't use this was specifically in the description it says designed for babies, pregnant women, breastfeeding women. So um, yeah, for baby children and adults and on the description on the Boots website, it said for pregnancy safe and breastfeeding safe. So this is the one that I've been using, big, big tub. I'm not sure if it's exactly for your face, but I've seen absolutely fine with it. Um, and I do put this on Novaly as well, and we've both been fine with it. She has sensitive skin and it, so do I, and this seems to work really well. So yeah, those are kind of the changes I've made within my skincare routine since becoming pregnant. Um, not masses has changed to be honest because I try and use a lot of natural products. I'm not into all of those like retinol and like the skin peels or anything like that. The only thing I was using was like a glyconic acid and I was also using like a lavender essential oil, this face oil. But again, it says to avoid lavender. So um, I've stopped using that and obviously switched to the rose hip one from Zukin. Obviously, don't hold me to it. I've just done my own research. So, you know, if you're pregnant or, or breastfeeding or whatever, do your own research and you can then see what skincare you can and can't use. But this is what I think I figured out for me and it seems to be working for my skin mostly. These are the pyjamas. They're like super soft super stretchy and super comfy i love them i think i got them in like a size large so i've got lots of growing room but i'm pretty sure these will be coming in my hospital bag with me because they're so comfy it's 10 past nine 
and I'm finally in bed. I thought I would just end this vlog with a few little pregnancy updates. So I've been getting quite a bit of sort of back, lower back and hip pain again, a little bit of sciatica. That was something that I had in my second and third trimester last pregnancy. So happening again this time round. I found my pregnancy ball today. So Tom has hopefully gonna pump that up for me. So I'm gonna start using that because I remember last time that definitely helped. And I'm also gonna try and find my pregnancy pillow because I think that will help me sleep better at night. I just feel like I'm getting a little bit heavy now and I need a bit more support. But the main thing that's been happening the past couple of weeks, I thought I was feeling some like little flutters of movement, like the odd bit here and there. And then the past like few days, I would say, I have definitely been feeling some really big movements, which is so exciting. So like this sort of time now when I'm just like chilling in the evenings after, especially after like a busy day, baby's really active. So it's like when I'm chilling on the sofa watching TV. So I've definitely had some proper movements now, which is so exciting. So it probably happened around 17 plus five days, four days, something like that, where I really felt like, yeah, this is definitely it. Whereas before it's always like, is it, isn't it? But I was pretty sure it was because um, of the fact that I've obviously felt it before. Really exciting that baby's now moving. Just feels a bit more real, I guess. I'm really tired, so I'm now gonna go to bed. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. <laughs> Bye.